On the 22nd of March, Quebec joined many other provinces in closing all non-essential businesses, creating a wave of uncertainty for business owners across Canada. In the weeks that followed, Canadians have been bombarded with a non-stop montage of fear-inducing headlines, record-breaking levels of unemployment and financial uncertainty. Behind each of these alarming statistics are thousands of real people adapting to the day-to-day -day challenges of this new economic reality. They are writing their own stories of resilience and survival. In the face of a complete collapse of tourism in the city, restrictive social distancing, and a population that has been told to stay inside, Jean Talon Market, a place that has always thrived off its ability to facilitate community and human interaction, is facing one of its toughest tests to date. To find out more, we went there to hear how the traders at one of Montreal's oldest markets are persevering through their latest challenge. It's completely uh, deserted, almost. It's 50% uh, reduced. And you hope it's going to stop one time? We are at the market uh, Jean Talon for 40 years ago, approximately. For us, we are always a little bit nervous because uh, we are always with the customers and everything. That changed so much since three years. I didn't recognize the market. You can see that some people are really kind of scared of what's happening and you can really see that the distancing, people are not sure if they should when they meet someone else, they kind of back up on their own. You don't even have to tell them. People are already aware of like the space that's needed between people. So there's already that space that's been created even after two months. The people who come here to really do their groceries, they, they come here since they were super young. And like I used to come here when I was five and I remember everything about it. And it's kind of a, it's a big thing to market for the ones who come here all the time. Even in our neighborhood that's here, Neighbors, we talk to each other a lot more and we're much more together. I think that we're more connected, even though there's more distancing, social distancing, I think like we're more connected together. Especially after our uh, annual migration that happened a couple of days ago. They are happy that they see us again, that we are still open and they, they, they can buy here uh, products. We see where the problems can be also in the, in the stores since we were there, so we try to adapt ourselves the best we can. And we do have a lot of square foot to uh, have people make lines. And you go everywhere in any store. You have to wait outside. You have to keep the distance. They work as like if we were seven years old. They don't trust. They put the arrow everywhere. And if you walk like that, one side of the arrow, no, 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 be on the arrow. I don't like that. You can have everybody happy situation different for everybody. That's always like that in any business. Inside, I think uh, you're close and uh, outside is the best situation we could have. I feel secure because we have like a lot of help from the government also, so we get all the help we need and we try to manage in our personal life and also work. We don't have any cash flow coming in, so it's hard to have employees. Some other people are kind of sad to see that everything's like that people can't really survive having the little shops and everything. We're okay with the way that I think that it, it's working in Quebec. I feel that our governments are really taking proactive actions towards all of this, so. so like the Prime Minister uh, from Canada or Quebec said, restaurants is closed, it's closed area. But in the market, you know, if I open everything, it's open, it's not closed. We're positive in trying to make it work as much as we can. The consumption habits change and evolve, and so we've been through those changes where, when supermarkets uh, come into play. We've survived that. And now there's a regain in wanting to consume local product uh, to independent shops and that's what we provide here. I love working here. I love working at the market, especially because of the summer. It's so vi vibrant. Everyone's happy, everyone like smiles, laughs. I love it. 